First of all, I just wanted to say that it's genuinely an honor to be on the Time 100 Next list this year. Based on who's been on the list in the past, it's actually quite humbling. From my perspective as a weather and climate scientist who spends an awful lot of time engaging with the wider world, including extensively with journalists uh, and folks in government, it's become really clear to me that the present moment is an especially consequential one, not only in the United States, but also globally. And when it comes to climate change, but also when it comes to so many other things, we really are on a precipice, and what happens next is going to have consequences that reverberate not only for generations to come, but in the broader context of the Earth system, literally for millennia. So our choices right now, in this moment, could not possibly matter more. I know that context and nuance have seemingly fallen out of favor in recent years, but that's exactly what we need right now. We need to be listening to the difficult stories that are out there, to hear those hard truths, and to put in the challenging work to make things better. There is a critical need, especially for institutions to support those who are trying to bridge the winding divides that we see all around us, and to distill the complex societal and environmental issues that allow us to make more informed decisions about what's next. So I am grateful for this recognition, which I see as an encouraging indicator that this kind of work really is valued. And I also want to acknowledge the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources, which came through for me in a moment of academic precarity, and through their ongoing support has allowed me to continue my climate communication efforts. So thank you, and again, it truly is an honor.